So my adventures of being the town blacksmith, carpenter, and everything else keeps expanding because a friend of mine wants a brick staircase. And well, there's a bunch of bricks here and they happen to be that, that friend's bricks. So I now need to find a way to get the mortar off of these bricks. Now, luckily I happen to be an expert at removing mortar from bricks. And after a few attempts, I realize this is the most difficult type of brick. The type of brick where it's a bit hard and ceramic-y with holes and the mortar is extremely hard. The mortar is actually harder than, harder than the brick itself. So it's really futile to try and chisel this mortar off. But if you can put it in a fire, well, then that changes everything. The brick keeps the same strength, but the mortar breaks down. And then it's also easier to crush up the mortar to turn into gravel. But the, there's one issue. I don't have anywhere to really burn anything here. This isn't the Midwest. You don't have a burn pit, well, legally in, the, in, in, each, in everybody's backyard. If you want to have a fire out here, you have to have it in like a metal bowl of some kind, kind of like a topless barbecue grill. So even though I grew up with having a masonry fire pit just in the ground and usually four months out of the year, there would be a fire there that I wouldn't have to relight. I would just go back outside, put more wood on the fire and keep it going, use it for melting metal and whatnot. But out here, I'm gonna need to find something to have a fire in in order to cook those bricks. So I'm gonna need to make a metal fire pit effectively. And I think I just barely have the parts to do it. Over underneath my excess tool bench, I have this metal that I found in the trash. And these pieces of metal, well, I thought I could find a use for them. It'd be a bit of a shame to waste it on this, but they are nice thick steel. So I took some out and I have plenty of wood to burn. And I realized that with 12 of them, they'll actually sort themselves into a conical shape. You know what? This is kind of just weird enough for me to like. So that'll be upside down. And then we can use some excess metal we can take some of these pieces and we can weld that onto the bottom and cut it with the grinder or my plug-in one. So we'll be doing a little bit of welding and a little bit of grinding. Okay, we're all set up now. But unfortunately, I have a headache and this is not gonna be good for it. Okay, that pleating is kind of cool. I must admit, it is kind of cool.
I always hold my breath whenever I'm welding with a lot of fumes. But all welding makes fumes, so I always hold my breath, in other words. You know, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I could also use this as my uh, fire chamber to make charcoal. I can put a tank on top of it and actually get quite a, quite a large amount of heat from that fire. It's been a week and a hurricane came by. It's been absolutely raining, well, drizzling, for the past four or five days and it still hasn't stopped being very wet out there. So this is the perfect time for us to burn. I got several milk crates full of off-cut wood bits, and I've picked this spot. Now, unfortunately, these bricks are also wet, but oh well. Smells really nice. And I have water right here in case I need to put it out, but thankfully there's water everywhere, so nobody can get upset. As it burned, the lid went down and it stopped getting enough air, so it wasn't burning quite so pure, but now it's burning quite good. Oh, that's interesting. Putting this in there, it actually stopped it from burning and it poof, back into flame when I took it out. So I'm gonna have to add more holes on the bottom, it appears. Well, this is a huge fucking disaster. It will not continue burning for some reason. Putting like hardly any water or hardly any heat. But quenching these bricks may have been enough, so we'll see. Let's see what we got here. Oh wow, look at that. It's so easy now. Oh. I was breaking bricks left and right before.
that wasn't such a huge failure after all. She blew out my torch. <laughs> For those wondering, this is just a concoction of leftover flammable chemicals that I just call naphtha. All the rain hitting my phone is <laughs> keeps touching the, the touch screen and so it's messing with the focus and stopping the recording that's kind of funny ah, shut up Okay, so I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna get, now that the rain's kind of died down, I'm gonna take this. I'm actually gonna take these off. I'll grab two new bricks. Go for the big one. because I'm definitely going to need help breaking those apart. But we're getting through the pile pretty well. Look at that. Some of these bricks that I've been allowed to bake, like I, I hit once and it just comes right off. So it's so amazing when you have something that works so well. Had the phone on the charger so I can record a little longer because this is going so well. Now, I was going to save the big one for the video, but I took it off thinking I'd flip it and then I started tapping at it and it fell apart. So it's very, very effective. And I've started putting a lot of the bricks that we've undone over there. So that works pretty well. And the rain has pretty much stopped. It makes things easier on the face and the everything. And easier on the fire. Oh, it's that thing that's actually sizzling. Okay. I shouldn't be surprised.
haven't really heated that side yet, so why would they even try? I don't know. Oh, this is a good example. This one is so hot. By the way, this is one of my favorite songs that this uh, church plays in the background. Anyway, so you can see the crack has already formed. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do it the right way. so much that it turned red. That's interesting. Yeah. I've been taking the bricks out and we only have a few more. These ones have baked so long well, they've baked to the point that I like. Well, I ran out of iPhone storage and that's about where I should end anyway because I'm getting cold and my hands are sore and I'm tired of hammering. I'm letting that die down a little bit and I think I'm going to pick through this, see what I want to keep. I'll get the snow shovel, put that in the dumpster. I mean, not, not put the snow shovel in the dumpster, but put this stuff in the trash skip. Found this and this in the trash down the road so mine now and they should make quick work of this this saved me a lot of work and i got a lot of bricks
And just like that, it's done. This worked out really well. I'm really happy with it. It didn't leave much of a mess at all. It was easy to clean up all this stuff. And I got 20 some bricks that are whole and then like eight or so that aren't. And that'll be helpful. That's I think all I need to make that, that step that a client wants me to make with these bricks. So I say that's job done. Ah, it felt good to burn something. It's kind of like when I was a kid, cause I used to do this kind of thing. Oh, like 60 days out of the year back when, in Illinois. I mean, you guys have watched my channel. You know how much I have. I use that burn pit. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.